Hi guys, welcome to the eighth video of the Golang and React full stack to do project application series. So uh, in this video, we'll work on our undo task, delete task, and delete all tasks function. So let's get started. For the undo task, we'll have W and R. And here we'll use HTTP dot response writer. And for R, it'll be a pointer to HTTP dot request and similarly for delete task also let's do the same we'll have w which will be a http dot response writer and r which will be a pointer to http dot request similarly for delete all tasks you'll have the same w comma r http dot response writer HTTP dot request. So for your undo task, you'll have w dot header dot set, and we'll set content type, and then we'll set. Actually, for the other ones as well, we can make it content type. instead of context so set access control allow origin and we'll have methods and then headers so we'll say w dot header dot set access control allow methods w dot header dot set access control allow headers what I'll do is I'll take this entire thing copy and paste here and here let's start changing these values so here we'll say application slash x www dash form URL encoded application slash x www form URL encoded okay here you want this to be star to undo task you are obviously updating the task so it's put method and here we're saying content type in the header. Here again we'll say star using the delete method and header as always is content type. For delete all tasks we'll have the first two only so in the undo task to undo a task we obviously need the ID right so which ID uh, task with which ID do you want to undo or update so here uh, we'll do the same thing as we did here for task complete so we'll say max dot max dot where's in the request which is r you will have some variables and i want those to, to be in parameters so that i can access the parameters so i'll have a uh, function called undo task and we'll have params and we need access to the id so here we'll say json dot neo 
encoder w dot encode params id now with the delete task to delete a particular task you'll obviously have to do the same thing you'll have to say params max dot where's id sorry r and you'll say delete one task params id so that means we need two more new functions undo task and delete one task all right and with delete all tasks we'll have count is equal to delete all tasks we just want to return the count that is it and here we'll say json dot new encoder dot encode count now there are three more functions that i see one is delete one task one is delete all tasks then we have undo task so actually four functions and i see one more which is uh, insert one task so along with get all tasks and task complete we'll have insert one task func insert one task which will take some parameters and have a function definition then so this was for the create task function it was calling the insert one task function then we'll have our uh, undo task function so for undo task you will have func undo task and for delete one task also you'll have another function so you'll say func delete one task and then you'll say for this function also we'll have to define func or oh sorry out here you'll say func delete all tasks so we've reached till now till here where we have uh, you know worked on quite a few functions and we have quite a few more functions to go so we have get all tasks task complete insert one task undo task delete one task and delete all tasks all these functions to be completed so what i'll do is i'll keep this video short and in the next video we'll start tackling these different functions and uh, uh, do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of this series comes out Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.